Calling a Me TV is a special privilege to have. Using it is an equally special experience. But what if I tell you that you have barely scratched the surface and there are a whole bunch of handy features, settings that you are yet to discover. Hence, in this video, we walk you through what's beyond the surface. Coming up next on TechPP.com. Hey guys, Raju here from TechPP.com and today we will be discussing 11 tips for your new Mi TV. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified as soon as we post a new video. Okay, so back to the tips. All the Mi TV variants available today uh, in India are compatible with Dolby, but for some reason Xiaomi has disabled it by default. For enabling it, go into the settings and switch Dolby on. For feeding data to its AI engine, the MeTV logs all your cable activities like what channels you have searched for or which ridiculous Indian soap opera you binge watch. Thankfully, you can clear these if you want. To get rid of the uh, cable watch or search history, navigate to the settings page, then setup box, TV guide and you will find the options located at the bottom. an Android TV at its core, the Mi TV does support Android apps, but you will have to sideload APKs as there is no Play Store here. For doing that, copy an APK file on an external drive, connect it to the Mi TV and wait for a pop-up. Hit open and click on the file to begin the installation process. If successful, it will be added to the app section. You can also launch the TV manager. Click the install via USB option or browse through the external drive manually in case you skipped or missed the pop-up. Our next tip is for those who are planning to install a lot of apps and games on the smart television. The Mi TV comes with the handy TV manager app that lets you clear the internal memory and storage. Just launch the app and you will see the options on the landing page. You can also cast your screen to the Mi TV without any accessory if you have a Miracast compatible phone like the OnePlus 5T. If you do own one, head into the app section, then wireless screen sharing and connect both the Mi TV and your phone to the same network. On your phone, open up settings, search for cast and in the three dot dots menu at the top, enable wireless display. All set, Mi TV will now show up in the list and you can simply click it to begin casting. Moving on, the Mi TV lets you configure any custom picture as the screensaver. Once you have transferred the files, go to the gallery from the app section, click the image, press the menu button on the remote and select set as a screensaver. There is also a user experience program available on the Mi TV but there is no need to freak out. It's entirely anonymous as per Xiaomi. You can also turn it off if you wish to and that paranoid. The option is situated in the security settings. We are sure you have been staring at Mi TV's glorious 4K screen since it arrived at your doorsteps. That's fine, we have been doing the same as well, but we are doing one thing differently than you. To tone down the blue light effect, we suggest enabling the eye protection feature. It's present in the display settings. It might seem a bit weird at first on a television, but you will get used to it in just a few minutes. Xiaomi has done a great job at getting rid of as many as remotes as possible from your life. But if you want to remove all of them, take a look at the Mi Remote app which lets you control the television from your Android phone. The app even comes with a bunch of handy shortcuts like taking a screenshot and more things. To learn how to set it up, head over to our guide, link for which is over here.
okay so you went a little crazy and installed way too many apps using the tip we mentioned earlier now it's time to know how to uninstall them because let's face it most of them probably don't even work there are two ways you can do that the first one involves heading into the apps list and clicking the delete button on the top you can also launch the tv manager we discussed earlier and choose the uninstall apps option Lastly, we will tell you how to cast YouTube clips from your phone without being on the same network. To enable this feature, launch the preloaded YouTube app, go to the settings from the left pane and click link with TV code. Fire up the YouTube app on your phone, enter settings and tap watch on TV. Enter the code which is being flashed on the TV and hit link. So guys, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Until the next time, may the tech be with you.